The comparison of Indian-built Tejas and Pakistan-built Thunder JF-17 fighters has sparked a lot of discussion. We go over both aircraft comparisons and capacity in this video. The JF-17 Thunder Sialong is a single-engine, lightweight, multi-purpose combat aircraft that was developed jointly by Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation of China and Pakistan Aeronautical Complex of Pakistan. Tejas is built by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is a single-engined, lightweight, highly agile, multi-role supersonic fighter. It integrates technologies such as relaxed static stability, fly-by-wire flight control system, multi-mode radar, integrated digital avionics system and composite material structures. Thunder JF-17's maiden flight entered service in March 2007. The aircraft is designated as Joint Fighter-17. The aircraft was also intended to have export potential as a cost-effective and competitive alternative to more expensive Western fighters. The development of this aircraft was headed by Yong Wei, who is considered China's ace designer. Yang also designed the Chengdu J-20. The aircraft with Delta Wing is designed for air combat and offensive air support with a reconnaissance and anti-ship as its secondary roles. Extensive use of advanced composites in the airframe gives a high strength to weight ratio, long fatigue life and low radar signatures. Aeronautical Development Agency is the designated project manager for the development of LCA. JF-17 is equipped with a glass cockpit and a specially designed canopy. The cockpit features three multifunction displays, head-up display, 32-bit weapon and mission management computer, and a hands-on throttle and stick. An upfront control panel is fitted between the MFD and HUD. The Chinese HUD is designed and developed to overwhelm the fog-up error that frequently occurs in humid. The Tejas uses many new technologies including large amounts of composite materials, advanced avionics, and a unique aerodynamic configuration, and has a good potential to be expanded into variants. Some call JF-17 the aircraft of today and the Tejas the aircraft of tomorrow. The LCA has been manufactured by a single country and is claimed to be the world's lightest supersonic fighter. Whereas JF, the China-designed and substantially produced JF-17 Thunder is the crown jewel of China Pak Aviation Relations and the first major defense product for sale. The JF-17 has been in service for the last 10 years, and already has two foreign customers flying the JF-17. 
LCA is clearly better in performance. JF-17's Russian engine has maintenance and serviceability issues, compared to LCA's General Electric F404 engine which is much more reliable than JF-17. It is the smallest and lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. Production of the Tejas Mark I for the Indian Air Force began in 2016. The IAF plans to procure 324 aircraft in all three variants, Mark I, Mark IA and Mark II. It came from the Light Combat Aircraft Program, which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. The JF-17 Thunder can fly at a maximum speed of 1,909 km per hour. The range and service ceiling of the aircraft are 2,037 km and 15,240 m, respectively. Its operational radius is 1,352 km. The aircraft weighs around 6,411 kg and its maximum takeoff weight is 12,474 kg. The JF-17 can be used for multiple roles, including interception, ground attack, anti-ship, and aerial reconnaissance. The HAL-made fighter jet is ideally a single-seat fighter jet but can be made into a twin-seat jet depending on armed forces requirements, which is mostly for training purposes. Tejas is better in term of technology. Though both of these aircrafts are equipped with comparable avionics but Tejas avionics are better than JF-17 because many of these are sources from Israel, Russia, France. Please express your thoughts on Tejas and the JF-17 Thunder. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.